Hello to the Detroit Health Club, Heal Thyself Club. A little gang you got going down there. There's Moselle and Katrina. Moselle, uh, really an old time friend and um, we're working together now on a documentary about the raw food lifestyle. So that's really exciting. Um, I've been a raw foodist for many, many years. It was kind of, Iowatha Cromer kind of introduced it to me in a roundabout way. Uh, she was up here in Lansing. Uh, she passed uh, recently, but uh, what a force she was. And we all loved Hiawatha. We, she was an easy person to love. So she was just uh, just brought this energy to everything she did. And we miss her. And uh, But she was the health guru. She was the, the health person. She was the magnet that brought us all together. I entered, I got to know about um, raw foods from... Um, from uh, sprouts. She introduced me to sprouts, and then it was all down there from here. So I mean, I just never stopped. I just understood from a sprout you have en uh, enzymes, and um, why would you eat enzymes? Because um, you know you want to be healthy. It's self-digesting foods, and uh, so what? Uh, you know what has enzymes? Well, raw fruits and vegetables, and that's about it. So at any rate, um, so I'm an author, and they wanted to talk to have a do a short talk here on cancer, which I'd be happy to do tonight because I just, my most recent book that I've done, uh, kind of my most recent, really not, but anyway, The Cure in the Mirror, Nature's Protocol for Surviving Cancer. You get that at my store. Um, see, it's the, just The Cure in the Mirror. You look in the mirror, you want the cure for any disease. It is you, okay? Um, you don't need to go to the doctor. So, um, you know, the hidden life of cancer, that's what we're going to talk about. Um, so... <laughs> Uh, interesting subject. Half this book, by the way, is um, about I denounce the medical establishment in every way I can think of, and um, and I really do it in a logical way. I just don't say they're bad. Obviously, they're good in accidents and when you get to hurt yourself or something like that. But other than that, they're worthless. They really are. They don't know what to tell you about infectious disease and what to do. Um, the last few years has proven that beyond any doubt. Um, and I, uh, I will also, chronic disease, they're, they're, you're useless. They don't know. They just have pharmaceuticals. This is a very recent event, invention. And, you know, you can see we're, we're, um, beginning to forget as, as this generation, beginning to forget all these natural cures. Just the ones, I mean, you know, that anybody would know, especially grandma, grandpa, they would know all these how they cure all these things and certain people were really really good at it they had these natural cures and then around the beginning of the 20th century they invented the pharmaceutical industry and they control everything i, I gotta tell you you can't say words on now on amazon and uh, anti-inflammatory you can't use that word for any product that's a, that's a health claim that's a that's a well it's a medical claim see so um you know they're really clamping down on everything so you really got to know about this stuff and uh, know um, what to do if you get sick. And it's not that hard. It's not that complicated. It's not easy, but it's not that hard. So I've written a bunch of books. Um, I'll show you ones I happen to have on hand. Um, this one is the temple he was referring to was his body. Okay, that one's about, uh, it's a Christian book, but it, it has a lot of quotes from the Bible. Um, but anyway, it's not preachy or anything. It just tells you about my seven component health protocol and how you, if you get sick, it's because you didn't honor this temple. Okay. Which is the temple that God gave us your body. If you honor it and you put the right things into it, you won't be sick. So I'm going to tell you about the hidden life of cancer. It's good. It's kind of a funny title. And then, um, you know, then, then I, I wrote this book. I mean, this is sketches from a young man's life. So this is a novel and it's a bunch of short stories that have been strung together in a kind of a unique novel form. And I'm a writer. That's what I really do. I'm also a naturopathic doctor. Um, um, you know, I own the Watershed Wellness Center in Lansing, Michigan. The, the website is watershed.net, N-E-T, watershed.net. And I've been doing this for, you know, 30, 30 years in business and I've been a naturopath and, you know, I've been kind of moving in that direction for 25 years. I'm a certified nutritional consultant. I'm a, a master herbalist and, um, I'm a naturopathic doctor. So, um, at any rate, um, most of what I know about health is what I experience because I do this. Um, you know, I'm 65 years old. I still run a six minute mile. I work out, um, you know, four, five or six days a week. And, uh, it's really intense. Like I get on my elliptical. I have like a professional elliptical and I get on there. I, my record is four miles in 20 minutes. 
That's five, that's four five minute miles back to back on an elliptical by myself. And that's on level eight. It's a professional one. Um, anyway, so I live it. I live this stuff. And then here is my latest book. I wonder what you think of that cover. Let me know what you think about that. Does that, is that a good cover? The Seven Secrets of Natural Health. Okay, there they are on the back. Ionized water. It's my seven component health protocol. But it's a secret. Just tell everybody you can't get this book and that it's in high demand and then everyone will buy it, right? <laughs> it's a marketing ploy. Ionized water, spirulina and chlorella, raw fruits and vegetables, probiotics and prebiotics, angst, li liquid angstrom minerals, okay? Um, that get into your body very effectively. Uh, a uh, daily vigorous exercise, I told you how I run. And um, positive mental attitude. So that's my seven component health protocol, but it's the seven, shh, the secrets of great health, okay, and natural health. So anyway, those are all on Amazon.com. And some of them are on audio. These three are on audio, and I'm going to put that one on audi audible.com. So let's get to cancer. You know, everything, I, I told you that because my seven component health protocol, that is what you're going to use to heal yourself of any disease, including the emperor of all disease, cancer. Okay? And the medical establishment, just, you know, people say, I, w I went through chemo and I beat the cancer. Um, actually, you know, you, you, <laughs> you kind of survived. You know, they're trying to kill you and they're trying to kill uh, the cancer. But really, you're a chemo survivor. Uh, you know, chemotherapy. I'm a survivor of chemotherapy. I made it. You know, it's like, you know, that's you should get the 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 purple heart or the golden star or the silver star of bravery for doing that, because you survived cancer. They're, they're trying to kill you, in case you didn't see. But you know, hopefully, uh, you'll you'll the cancer will go away before you die. But um, there's a natural way to do it, and that's what I talk about. And when you get a disease like cancer, where is it, and why is it the hidden life of cancer? So where does cancer come from? Well, you know two things about yourself. If you're sick with any disease, including cancer, the emperor of all disease, the worst one. So, I mean, you know, you got, you got diabetes. I mean, if you're really determined, you give me one week, two weeks at the most, and uh, you, you'll be fine. It, no more diabetes. I mean, it's that reversible of a disease. You just need to make some, some, some profound changes in your uh, diet. Okay, in your lifestyle, but two, two weeks, it's a very easy, you know, you're just controlling your blood sugar. Okay, so now, um, and then, you know, as far as like, you know, this you know, starting to produce insulin all naturally, yeah, I mean, you give it two to four weeks, I mean, your body just is amazing, the rejuvenative properties of the human body. It really is astounding. So, I, it really never fails to amaze me what the human body can do if you give it the right nutrients and how it stands up to the wrong nutrients. I mean, people eat, you know, they say, can you live on spirulina and chlorella, two, these two types of algae? Um, I don't know. People live on McDonald's, you know. I mean, they, they live on fast food. They live on pizza. They live on this stuff. They live on f processed foods. Do you ever see one of those people? You have. They're, they're grossly obese, and they're in one of these little carts, you know, driving carts in the, in the supermarkets. And you look at what's in their basket, it's full to the brim, and uh, it's just everything out of a box, a jar, a can. Well, you know, that's why they, they're obese, because look at what they're putting in their body. Is, you know, is, there, is there a tree or a bush or anything for any of those things that are in those packages? No. I haven't eaten anything out of a box or a jar and a can in, th believe it or not, 40 years. 40 years. I mean, you know, maybe... Uh, you know, some mustard, it's organic or something, you know, maybe tahini, you know, a couple of things like that. But me going out and getting a box and putting it in the oven or, you know, or getting something out of a jar and that, you know, it's just, come on, I, I, it's even before I started this. I've been doing what I do now about 25 years, you know, really. Again, it's kind of the late 90s, so whenever that was. So, um, 98 is when I, 97, I kind of started hearing about it little bit by little. First, I found out about ionized water and then spirulina and chlorella and then raw foods and, uh, and then I discovered probiotics. No, I never heard of it. I never heard of any of this stuff. Um, so then minerals, that took, that was a couple of years later. So it just takes, you know, it took me time. I didn't just develop this overnight or anything. And then I became a naturopath later, you know, and it's good to do all that studying. 
And I'm glad I have the title. But again, either I know what I'm talking about or I don't. And it doesn't matter if I'm a doctor. You know, people call me Dr. Bob. I like being called Dr. Bob because you just, you know, you just, you know, I'm the authority on health. So just give me that, that, oh, I don't need to be Dr. McCauley like a medical doctor. I mean, they don't know anything about health. You ever seen these guys on TV and, uh, and they, you know, they're medical doctors like Gundry. He's the one, you know, and, uh, and they got the lab coat on or something, you know. I mean, it's like, where did they learn about health? <laughs> any of these people, Macola, I don't have anything against them, but they didn't learn it in medical school, okay? They show them, they're giving all these health tips and all this. Okay, it's, that's fine, but they learned it from guys like me. And they figured it out from nature. They didn't go to medical school. You don't, they, they teach you nothing. You know, the nutritional science. Jeez. Yeah, it's just raw fruits and vegetables, all you got to know. So, if you get sick... You know two things about yourself. You are, you thought I lost my train of thought. I didn't. Uh, you know that you're acidic. Your body's acid. Okay. It's in the low range. And you measure that through your, um, urine every day for a month. And that'll give you a moving average, but that'll give you a pretty good education. And the sicker you are, the lower it'll be. <clears throat> um, and then, uh, because that's the environment disease thrives in. And then you know you are toxic. You're full of toxins all over your body. Okay, and to whatever degree. And what is a toxin? Let's be clear. A toxin is something that doesn't belong in the body. A toxin is, um, is, is something that doesn't perform a function, a physiological function. It needs to get out of there. You know, if you had, if you work in an office and you had people kind of coming in and talking to everybody, you know, for a couple hours, they would be toxic to the work environment. So you'd get rid of them. That's what you gotta do in your body. You gotta get rid of what doesn't belong there and you need to stop putting the wrong things into your body and start putting the right things into your body. And then you'll be healthy. So you, if you're sick, if you've got cancer, okay, it's because of you. And then you wanna cure it, uh, go look in the mirror. Okay? The greatest physician in the world. See the old guy, the sick guy, look in the mirror and say, here's what you could be. You know, it's a cool cover, right? Is that cool cover? Isn't this a cool cover? Don't you just love that? Like that's raw foods and vegetables and water at the bottom, you know, and that, sh that should be you. Honor the temple God gave you. So you're acidic and you're toxic. Okay. Um, uh, you know, and you're, now when you become extremely toxic, well, you'll, you, first of all, you'll begin to accumulate, um, yeast, mold, and, and fungus inside your body. Okay. And, um, and then a lot of unwanted viruses and bacteria. You got to remember one thing or know this. We, we are, how many, how many, how many viruses are in your body right now? You're worried about this big virus here and people are still scared and they still running around with a mask and they just don't know what to do. Okay. How many viruses are in your body? What do you think about like 30, 400 right now? I mean, would you be sick? There's 30, 30 trillion with a T trillion viruses in your body, 60 trillion bacteria in your body. So we're the C and then there's 90 to 100, 80 to 100 trillion human cells, depending on how big you are. So that's the human, that's the average human. We're this sea of bacteria and viruses. And, and the reason we don't keel over immediately is because we have something called an immune system. But when you eat all this garbage, of course you don't have an immune system. You're wide open to this. You know, any disease that comes along, Okay, Any, I had meningitis. I wrote a book about it. I don't have one here. Silver, the miracle mineral, the end of infectious disease. Okay, I, I had meningitis. That's a kill. That's 21% mortality. I had it. I, I staved it off with my immune system. Didn't know what it was. I, you know, could barely get out of bed. Any normal person would have gone down to the hospital, but you know, not, <laughs> not Dr. Bob. No. Oh. I got this handled. I didn't even know what it was. I thought I'd been poisoned. I mean, I thought I'd, I thought, you know, I ate something toxic. I didn't know what was going on. It was very serious. And then it went away, you know, after 10 days and I finally got over it. And then I went traveling and traveling knocks your immune system down and it came back. So I, had, I was in China and I had a little bit of silver and I took it in about a, one and a half teaspoons and within hours it was reversing itself. So I documented it. And uh, I had these big welts on my legs, but it shows you how you build your immune system. So, but when you begin to eat this garbage all the time, you get yeast mold and fungus in your body. And if you keep going and going and going, eventually you get something called cancer. So the hidden life of cancer is you keep putting toxins into your body 
uh, you are not, uh, you know, doing anything to take them out, okay? You, what well, detoxify, which is, by the way, detoxify. There's, there's a word that the FDA hates. And if you use that word with any kind of product, you'd be very careful because they will write you a warning letter. Okay, and the warning letter, when you get one warning letter in my business, this isn't like, we're warning you, this is, we're warning you, we're warning that we're going to shut you down if you don't stop doing what you're doing and saying what you're doing and take all the videos down and take all the products down and everything. They don't mess around. They're getting more and more, you know, <laughs> terrible all the time, the FDA. And it's really, I think it's so, big corporations can kind of control our space. If you look, the big corporations, the big ones, Nestle and Unilever, and ADM, Archer Daniel Midland, they have taken over the natural products um, companies. The very large ones, the, the the medium ones bought the small ones years ago, and then the big companies started buying all the, the medium companies, and now the corporations bought everything. Garden of Life, they've been bought by Nestle. Garden of Life was one of the biggest that was still there that was an independent company. No, nope, they're gone. So as of just like a couple of minutes, months ago, they got bought. So like Ben and Jerry's, you know, that's Unilever. But there's nothing natural about Ben and Jerry's anymore, ice cream. Nothing. Just look at it. Look at what's in there. They take they take over everything. So that's why you got to be the master of your own health. Take control of your health. Empower yourself to do what I've done. And what do I do? I just eat from nature. I live, I follow nature. That's all I do. It's nothing like, you know, I got, you know, I have, I do a lot of supplements, but they're just supplements that, you know, you can't supplement your way to health, you know. So I, you know, meaning you can't just take supplements and people, I took, I took all this turmeric, I took all this black pepper, I took all this ashwagandha, I still have, yeah, but what's your dinner, you know, your, your diet like? Oh, it's pretty good. No, it's always pretty good. What's it like, you know? How many raw foods do you eat? If they tell you 30%, it's really probably 10 if they tell you 80%, it's probably like barely 50. If they tell you 90%, eh, you know. Me, literally, I'm 90, you know, 95% raw, okay? Um, nobody has to be perfect, and it shows you you don't have to be. But I eat fruit for lunch with spiruline and chlorella. I drink, I don't eat till noon. I fast every day for probably 12, 15 hours, 15 hours, sometimes 18 hours, every day. And that's fantastic. Fasting, the healthiest thing you can do. And... Um, and, and I eat a salad for night. I'm going to have a salad here in a little while. And, uh, that's what I do. And now where, where do I, you know, uh, I eat from my garden. I know what I do. I still have, do a lot of sprouting even this time of year. So I got, um, broccoli sprouts, powerful anti-cancer properties. Okay. Um, especially the sprouts. You're looking for the sulforaphane in there, but sprouts are power food. So that's the, that's how I got introduced to raw foods through with Hiawatha. She brought me spouts and said, sell these. And I said, okay. And I did. And, um, and so, uh, you know, then I have uh, radish and I have red clover and I have alfalfa sprouts. So those are really easy to grow. And I, I mean, I have a ton of sprouts, but, but yeah, those are my basic ones. I always got those going. I always got them, always I can put them on my salads. And I mean, if you want to have the quickest, you know, delicious meal in the world the healthiest meal take a bunch of sprouts that you've grown because they're organic you know where they came from put some avocado in there some salt pepper some balsamic vinegar uh some apple cider vinegars maybe a little touch of uh, you know olive oil uh, make a little dressing i like to add uh, tahini sauce and uh, mustard i have my own little blend you know and then i have this blend of spices dr bob seven spice blend you know i put that on my set that stuff that's i take you it it take you three minutes to prepare and eat it. That's how quick you can just put it down and have it. And it's delicious and it's a powerhouse. It's great. And when you eat foods like that, you know, now you can get rid of the cancer. Now, the hardest thing you get, so though the first thing you're going to do, say, people come to me all the time. I've got this disease, that disease. I've got cancer. What do I do? Well, I said, go, stop, you know, first, wake up in the morning. Stop putting anything into your body but water. Wake up and drink water. Elkland ionized water. I wrote a whole book about that. You can look it up. If you want to see my books or look me up on Amazon or go to my website, it is Bob McCauley, ND, and naturopathic doctor, ND, uh, Bob McCauley, ND. So go to Amazon, go to Audible, and uh, you can type those in. You can listen to it or you can um, you can buy the book. 
and I will, uh, and you will see what you, what, what you got to do. But the miraculous properties of ionized water, the definitive guide to the world's healthiest substance. It's in its third edition. I have sold thousands and thousands and I own all my books and I don't have a publisher. I publish my own books. I don't want them having no rights over it or anything, you know. Steve Marowitz, Sprout Guy, you know, he lost the rights to so many of his books, you know. He would just let them publish it and, you know, he lost, he told me, you know. He, he's gone now, but he uh, he told me he was, he was. they took all my books, you know, they own them. And they won't re let me buy them back and they won't print them anymore. So there I did all that work for nothing once they're out of print. Mine, no way. Um, but it's a water. You wake up, water. Okay, I wake up, I mean, it's a glass of water. That big, okay? First thing in the morning. Boom. I just push it right down. Um, and then, you know, I keep drinking. So I'm going to drink two or three of these by noon, okay? Now, never drink more than one liter or quart per hour. That's the most. That's the most the body can process. It's really harmful and dangerous to drink more water in an hour than one quart. That's a lot, you know? you got to be pretty thirsty to even drink that. But, um, you know, when I'm in my far infrared sauna, uh, maybe I'll do a talk on that sometime. Um, then I get, I'm drinking a lot of water while I'm in there. But anyway, so, um, you got water. Next thing is spiruline and chlorella, two types of algae. This is what the protein you gotta use. you if, if you wanna be healthy, stop eating meat, fish, eggs, or dairy. I mean, there's this big, put the carnivore diet. Big push for meat is this incredibly powerful food. I mean, it, oh my gosh, it even, it, we were, we were just stupid animals. And then we, we started eating so much meat, our brains got bigger. This is what they're telling you. I mean, they're just making things up here, folks, let me tell you. And uh, sure, it just got bigger because there was so much meat. Why, you know, then why aren't, you know, cats geniuses? <laughs> because they're carnivores. I mean, especially the the lions out in the middle of nowhere, right? They're, 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 they're carnivores. I don't see them, you know, um, sending rockets anywhere. I mean, they just, you know, they just, they're... They're, this is ridiculous what they say. So, um, you know, and I will say this about anybody who eats animal protein. I haven't eaten meat in 42 years. I've been a vegan around 20. And uh, I have a lot, I have something in common with uh, meat eaters and, and those people that eat that, that, especially meat eaters. All the animals they eat are vegans, and I'm a vegan. So I'm a vegan, and all the animals they eat are vegans. So, um, you know, it's just something we have in common, you know, because that's it. They, I mean, name an animal that we eat that's a carnivore. No, they're all they're all vegetarian. They accumulate all these vitamin B and all the uh, all the meat and all, all that stuff. They accumulate these nutrients and then we eat them. They're just a middleman. There's just a middle. There's nothing in meat that you and it's not. You know, you lose. You're on a high protein diet, so you lose a lot of weight. It doesn't mean you're healthy. If you want to eat the mo two most powerful foods in the world, they're spirulina and chlorella. And by the way, people just hate it when I talk about meat. I think I literally, I get so attacked. I, you know, I can't tell you the, you did something you cannot talk about is like, you shouldn't eat meat. It's not healthy. They, they don't want to hear that. I mean, it's the last thing they want to hear. You know, another thing they don't want to hear, I tell them all the time, I'll tell you, cause you're in the health club. You're in, down there. So you must be health minded. I, I know you are. Um, <clears throat> the one thing you want to do if you really want to be healthy is, um, you know, start taking spirulina and chlorella, the two most powerful foods in the world, the only foods you can survive on exclusively and get all your nutrients. So if you had them in an emergency situation. But this idea that meat is just so healthy and there's no replacement for it is just, there. it's the carnivore diet. Now we had the keto diet. The keto diet is the high fat diet. So the whole point is get rid of carbohydrates and you're kind of starving yourself because you, what is the keto diet? You're creating all these ketone bodies. You're in starvation mode. That's not healthy. That's not healthy. You know, you're going to lose some weight. Okay. So weight loss is healthy. Well, it can be if you're, especially if you're really heavy and you lose a lot of weight. But <clears throat> anyway, so. Um, number three on my hit list of uh, great things to do and seven components and seven, the seven secrets of great health. Don't tell anyone, just the people you love, tell them about it. Um, yeah, you can tell anybody. So, uh, number three is raw fruits and vegetables. That's, that, that's the part that you're not going to be able to do is do the raw fruits and vegetables. You'll see that in the end, uh, changing your diet 
is so, so difficult. I mean, I grew up on meat and potatoes. I grew up right here in Lansing by the Frandor, and I grew up meat and potatoes. I mean, like anybody else, I my, I used to get this big can of Hungry Jack beans, and I got that ring bologna, you know, and that was Thursday night. And I grew up on all that garbage, you know, all that stuff, peanut butter sandwich, all that. And um, it, there's no nutrition. It's just sustenance. All cooked foods are sustenance. Processed foods are garbage that are sustenance. But I'll tell you this, and this is a secret, again, don't get mad at me. But never eat fried foods. They're poison. They're poison. They're one, they're one of the worst. I can't think of anything worse. What you do to oil when you fry it is just, you, it's nothing but trans fats. I mean, take a little bit from the pan and, and just put it in the sink and kind of look in the sink and see what it's doing. That's your, now that you've, you're doing that to your body. You're putting that, all that grease and fat is just gumming you up. It tastes great. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> First time I ever had a flaffle when I lived in Israel years ago. I couldn't believe it. French fries. You name it. But it's poison. It's garbage. And if you got health challenges, you need to stop. Get that out of your diet. I mean that right now. No more. No more. So that's one of the secrets. Shh, shh, shh. Don't eat fried foods. That people get shocked about that. They kind of know they're not good, but meat, they get so mad. But you just got to stop eating it. People are so addicted to that stuff, right? So then we go to probiotics and prebiotics. Now, I mentioned a little bit ago that your body starts accumulating all these, um, all this yeast, mold, and fungus. Okay? And uh, my protocol, by the way, is to kill everything in the digestive tract, everything in the blood, okay, when you have cancer. And then we do that with, you know, silver and we do it with bismuth, uh, okay, and uh, we just, we just, I got a, I have a uh, parasite killer protocol, that, you know, or, or a product and, uh, and a protocol that kills everything. And then we put in the friendly bacteria, okay, the probiotics. I have a full strain, strain full probiotic. I have a spore biotic, which is spores. But this is what you need, very powerful anti-cancer properties in that. You need digestive enzymes, you need Sachemari velarde, which is a yeast probiotic, okay? You need lots of, lots of different types of probiotics. But yeast is amazing. Of course, you know, yeast like candida is very dangerous, but to take a Sachemari velarde, wow, it's really powerful stuff. And really great for your digestion. And then always digestive enzymes. You have so much, because you gotta break, you are what you eat. No. You are not what you eat. You are what you can assimilate. Okay, if your body can't, if you if you've eaten all that fried food and all those microvilli are all coated over, you know, you're not getting any nutrients. Even when you eat a salad, you got to clean yourself. You got to cleanse yourself, detoxify. Okay, so I always say H A D: hydrate your body, alkalize your body, detoxify your body. That's what you got to do to be healthy. Those are the three pillars to health. So um, then, just to go to the last two, so. Um, we have, well, last three. Last, minerals. You gotta stay mineralized. You gotta get a full spectrum mineral. I sell one that's angstrom. You, you take the minerals, goes into your body, hold them in your mouth for as long as you can. It goes into your body through your sublingual duct and is immediately distributed throughout the body. Okay? And, now that, that's the quickest way for you to get, and the most efficient way to get minerals in your body. But B, you've got to stay mineralized. It's, it's critical. Every mineral. Minerals are the keys that start the engine of our health. You, every single physiological um, process in the body of any kind depends on a mineral. Your heart, you run out of magnesium, you're going to have a heart attack. You go to the hospital, they put you in a magnesium drip with a heart attack, first thing. First thing they do, because they know. Okay, calcium for the bones, you could go tin for your ear, you know. You know, indium for the pineal gland. You could get, I got tw 26 of them. So every, your body needs all boron, you know, molybdenum, every, every single one of it. It's, it's not there for nothing. It's there. And you get my book, The Silver, Silver, The Cure, The Silver, The End of Infectious Disease. You get that book. It's a cool looking cover. I don't have one right now, but uh, you get that book and, and you'll see what, um, you know, how, I, how exactly the silver does this and, and it takes out all these microbials and these viruses, yeast, yeast mold and fungus. But you've got to clear your blood first if you're going to do something like that. Again, fasting, the healthiest thing you can do.
Vigorous daily exercise. I never miss it. Okay. I, I work out very hard five, six days a week and, um, and then positive mental attitudes. That's number six, six and seven right there. So that's what you've got to do to beat cancer. So we're, you know, and this, by the way, this idea that cancer metastasizes, never been proven. Well, I had it in the liver and then it wrapped up here and it went to my brain. Why did it just appear in the brain? Well, it metastasized. What, what, yeah. They just make this stuff up. You know, it, it, it possibly could metastasize. You know, you just got so toxic in your liver, you got liver cancer. You got so toxic in your blood, you got chemo, uh, ke uh, you got uh, you got leukemia. You got you got blood cancer. You got so toxic in your brain at the same time. You're a toxic mess. You know, when you go down to the oncologist, ask what should I be eating? Well, you know, don't change your diet. They don't know. It's like me talking about medicine. I don't know anything about medicine. You know, nothing about that. I don't know even about emergency medicine, any of that kind of stuff. And the emergency cases is when there you need the medical establishment. Aren't they great? Um, for everything else, you know, you got to build your immune system for to stave off infectious diseases. Okay? And you need to uh, build your immune system to stave off things like cancer. Okay? Now, cancer is just, again, it's, uh, it just, um, it's cell mutation. See, and um, you know what they'll tell you is what is cell mutation? It's when your cells divide and they don't cell divide exactly the right way. Okay, and the, what they doctors like to say they, that's a spelling mistake. A spelling mistake? Are you kidding me? In other words, God makes spelling mistakes. He's a busy guy. He can't have your cells divide perfectly every time. Oh no, no, no. He can't do that. So it's spelling mistakes. And nature just makes mistakes. No, it doesn't. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Okay. No, it's a spelling mistake because you put things in your body that don't belong there and they're interfering with the physiological processes of the human body. And so now you can't, you know, you're not, you're not thinking clearly because your brain's full of toxins. So the, the brain cannot, all those neurons um, and syn synapses cannot communicate with one another. You know, it's, it's just, you know, and that eventually leads to Al Alzheimer's. It's toxicity, brain tox toxicity. And, and ma lack of magnesium. That's why you need magnesium l for those kind of situations. So, um, you need to clear your body. You got to need to clean that body from within, um, inside and out. And there's all sorts of things to say about creams for your face and that. And it's keeping the skin is your lar largest o o organ. But when you get rashes and stuff, I never get rashes. I mean, you know, it's, you know you're going to get them from poison ivy, and that's only that's the only thing. Otherwise, it comes from within. All your cirrhosis and uh, and uh, and um, uh, you know all the different skin diseases that uh, uh, eczema is another one, uh, psoriasis. That's not cirrhosis. I'm sorry, psoriasis. But all these are internal. It's your diet. It's, it's, you know, acne, acne is another one, you know, they, you know, it's a bacteria, but it's coming from within. It's living because of your diet and on your face and it comes out in your face, especially in your adolescent years. But, um, we can cure all these things and we can cure the body of cancer, but you, you know, it's not easy and, um, it doesn't happen overnight, but you didn't get into that position overnight. You know, when I was growing up, whoever heard of a kid with cancer? It's, what? What? We had one. It was the movie of the week. The the kid that got cancer, and oh my God, what are the chances? You know, and you wonder in a family, what well, you know? Why does Sally get cancer but not Johnny? You know, because maybe maybe Sally was exposed to some heavy metals, herbicides. Maybe she, you know, put some different things. She was in a different environment. It doesn't take long sometimes to to really get some poisoning in your body, and then you you end up getting this toxicity. And again, that, that, that causes the cell mutation and that results in cancer. And that's 60% of cancer. They just found that out. They used to think that, um, I'm going to wrap this up here, so I'm, only, I'm almost done, but they used to think that, um, that there was something called the, um, Warburg effect. Okay. And this is where cancer eats the body. Well, guess what? Now they realize it's the exact opposite. That was in 1929. So now it's the, they've believed it all this time. And now they've realized it's the exact opposite of what they thought. There's the reverse Warburg effect. That's how it works. So the, the cancer is instructing the body to feed it. 
to feed its the cancers. That's that's what. They, so they they don't they don't they can't even get their Nobel prizes right. These guys right. And I you know you will never find chronic disease in the wild. I'll leave you with that. No one's ever shot a deer and brought it back and found it full of cancer. That's why there there is no uh, chronic disease in the wild. And 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 and, uh, and then you'll never find it. Nobody nobody's ever shot a deer found cancer, arthritis, fibromyalgia, high blood pressure, diabetes. You name it. Not one. We're the only species on earth that get cancer other than the animals we domesticate. Okay, I'll leave you with that one. Hey, it has been great to give this talk. I went a little bit over, almost 35 minutes. My name is Dr. Bob McCauley. I'm up here in Lansing, Michigan. I do have a retail location if you want to stop in. I'm about two miles west of the airport in Lansing, Michigan. And I do consultations. And you can find me at watershed.net. My email is bob at watershed.net because I'm Dr. Bob. And uh, don't forget about my books. This one, got to keep this one's a secret. Just your closest friends and family and maybe everybody else in the world. And then the temple of God and your, te- your body's your temple. Okay. This one is the, 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 the temple he was referring to was his body. That, those are the words of our Lord. Jesus Christ, King of the universe. The only Son of God. And the cure in the mirror. That's what we're talking about tonight. So you can do that. And you can go to my site and read all the different uh, parts about um, cancer. You know, you're not allowed to say cancer. So, um, or any other disease. You know, they just crack down on you. So, um, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. And um, we'll see you guys some other time. And the sooner the better. God bless and stay healthy. And just remember, this is your temple. And you're responsible for your own health or your own disease. It's your choice. See you next time.